Now on Daybreak, new this morning. Another of our stories taking you to the spookiest spots in the state. Today we look at a, a really interesting bridge in Hendricks County. Nina Criscola spoke to a, a local historian and a couple of longtime residents to find out the truth about the bridge. <laughs> That's right. If you live in Avon or the surrounding communities like the Plainfield cheerleaders, you mm -hmm. probably know the exact location I'm talking about. It's a huge bridge with distinct archways towering over County Road 625 East, just south of Highway 36. There's a location there if you're not as familiar with it. Standing for more than 100 years, Avon's haunted bridge has stories just as old. If you go by on Halloween night, you'll hear her scream. Yes, you will. Train goes by, you will hear that. Avon's haunted bridge has a history much longer than the young town just established in 1995. My uh, mother's name was Barker, and they came here in 1831. Charles Mustin's family is entwined in Hendricks County history. He and his wife Harriet provided this picture of the haunted bridge to the Avon Washington Township Library. It's from 1910, just a few years after the bridge was built. Some of those stories gave you uh, that feeling about, boy, this is sure a spooky place, you know. The area surrounding the bridge was quite undeveloped when it was built in 1906. But today it sits in the heart of Washington Township Park with a busy road running underneath. It's a place to enjoy nature, maybe with a catch from the creek or just a nice walk. But the reputation remains. There are always people who love to make it into um, kind of a way to celebrate Halloween, um, to make it kind of mysterious, to give their local area a little more pizzazz. Susan Truax is a local historian who works at the library. There was a worker mm -hmm. who fell and they fell into the cement. They were not able to get him out and so he was buried alive. Another story is about a mother and her baby who were walking along the bridge. And here comes the train mm -hmm. and she's, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So what would she do with her baby? Oh, well, I'll just put it right here. Well, when she went to lay the baby down, it fell to the ground, and she fell, and she screamed. Truax has searched for facts linked to the legends. I could find no accident that said that there was a worker that was killed. However, not everything was reported in the newspaper. And many insist there is truth to the tales. I did not ever go up in the, in the Haunted Bridge. I was too afraid to go. They built it in such a way that when the trains go over, it does make a sound that sounds like somebody's screaming or somebody's moaning. So there is, that lends to it a lot. It's like a threaded needle. It gives you a little book of history mentally in your head that you can relate to. If you would like to visit the bridge, the safest way to do so is to enter Washington Township Park and follow the signs toward the pavilion. Mm. That way you're not stopping under the bridge where all of the traffic goes. When you have something like this, traditions develop. Mm -hmm. You say there's a tradition for when you're going over a right. pasture. So there's a lot of people that are worried about hearing the scream right. or moan if yeah. the train is going over when they drive through, so they'll honk their horn. So it's very common to hear people honking their horn really? as they drive through. Now, Charles and Harriet say if you go and, and it's dark, it's midnight, that it will show a blue-green color, kind of making it look a little bit more haunted. Could oh. be the minerals in the water underneath it or the cement, but there's a lot that lends itself to this being kind of a spooky spot. You called it. You thought the cheerleaders from Plainfield would know about this. We asked during the... They're like, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, we oh, know yeah. about you it. You know in Hendricks <laughs> County. Yeah. Okay, Nina, thank you so mm -hmm. much.